Hey everyone, and welcome back to Community Builds. I am honestly really glad that this intro that Dusty made, Dusty made, Dusty Red made, is a thing because I almost said welcome back to Beam. <laughs> anyway, first of all, I would like to apologize to Ben Bingo as I forgot a few things by them. So I'm going to start off with two things by them first. Um, one of them ran away. It's over there at the moment. You can kind of see it. It's still moving. Um, it is the fastest V4 that they made. I spawned it in and it just ran away. So, excuse me. I will get to it. But first, let's uh, check this out. This is a piston-powered pickup truck by Ben Bingo. Uh, no description, according to in-game. A little clear hood. That would look cool. That looks really cool. Do see, yeah, it looks like it has a normal, just the normal stick suspension, we'll say. A little bit of glitch welding for the height not bad. And then it has a rear two link. So not bad. And then you can see the U-joint, drive shaft. This is probably logic. That's probably more logic for something or like a, a brake. It looks like a brake. Nice interior. Glitch welded so it's small. Um, this button... I guess makes it actually spin. This button or switch. Oh, this one's lights. And then this one's the brake. I'm assuming. Awesome. I like now how people are making it so that you turn it on and then you hit W and it goes. I like how people are doing it now. It's really nice. Better control. Ooh, it's got brake lights. Okay, so yeah, that is a brake, and it activates with S and the brake lights. Okay, that's nice to see. Drive shaft there. What are you doing for a clutch, though? Can't go backwards, so it's not an engine. Oh! It's that, uh, glitch-welded clutch. Someone mentioned this to me, I can't remember who, but there is now a glitch-welded clutch in the game. This reminds me. And, as you can see, there's no reverse, but... Is that reverse? No. There's no reverse, but, um... I forget what I was talking about. The clutch. People, someone finally figured out a clutch, which really helps with this, because back in the day, whenever this was moving, the entire vehicle would move. So it was a little bit of a pain in the butt and weird. But yeah, now that we actually have like clutches and stuff, this is great. But overall, an awesome truck. If you're looking for something piston powered to play around with, have some fun in. I definitely recommend this, especially since it's not laggy, like at all. So, here we go. If you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend you go check that out. But next, I actually forget which is next in the list. It is a Coast Guard boat, wherever it is. Coast Guard. Really? I hit subscribe and it's interesting. Okay, so I'm subscribed to it. But if I put in post, it's not showing up. So uh, I think it was some patty uploaded a Coast Guard boat. But as you can see, it's not in my list for some reason. I subscribed to it and all that. 
So I will, in between episodes, see if I can get that working properly. And then if I do, I will put it in the next episode. Yeah, these are all... That should be before that one. I load into the game and then go through the list of creations so that when I download them, they're all in order and I can just go quick, but it all messed up this time. Either way, this is a Forerunner Body on Frame by Raymond 8.4v. So it is a Toyota, I believe, made the Forerunner. It's a cool SUV, really good for off-roading. Amazing off-road truck. Or SUV, I should say. Um, yep, as you can see, you have the full chassis. Just getting distracted by sirens at the moment. Might be able to hear them. Um, do you're using that new mod too? I forget what it's called at the, at the moment. Mechanical parts, maybe, but I like that. So you have uh, the ability to have little extra details. The sway bars work a lot better, I find, with this mod. And then the hubs are from it. Um, you have a lot of space for actual, like, excellent here. And then this bar here for all the links. Wow, okay. I have a feeling that in the future we're going to see a version of this with proper axles in it. That'd be really cool. But for now, this is a triangulated three link with a pan hard bar. Now, a slight issue with that is since these are triangulated, especially with a four link, these bars will want will try to keep the axle centered. Therefore not needing a pan hard bar. Now, with it being a three link, I'm not sure because even my little Jeep is a three link just like this and it has a pan hard bar. So it could bind, it might not, I'm not sure. We'll find out. And then a nice fully triangulated rear, or dual triangulated rear, however you want to say it. And yeah, no room for axles, but oh well. And then sway bars. I like your sway bars, they look really good. Bearings there. So I'm not sure if the sway bars are functional. But, yeah. Wait, steering's there? Oh, right, because it's, uh... Right. Those springs look kind of funny on the back. So yeah, there's the steering. Works nice. I want to see the sway bars. Ah! Not like that. This is a little bit laggy, though. It has a lot of bearings. You can tell. So I'm actually going to... Do that again so we can watch the sway bar. There you go. Then check out the flex. This thing goes to sleep really quick, but it is fairly laggy. Yeah, you can see the back sway bar seems to work fairly well. And then front one does. So yeah, awesome. Lots of torque. Decent speed. Oh, turn. I'll... Back is really bouncy, though. <clears throat> I'll get around to making a proper off-road course, but... Yeah. I've just been stressed out lately. <laughs> Once this is done, it's going to handle so well. I should go find that other thing and remove it, because it was causing lag, too. This thing's really bouncing. It's kind of weird. Oh, and there we go. Okay. I'm going to move on, because this thing's laggy. But this is really cool. Just Why are these red? <laughs> oh, wow. This is really cool. I really like it. Especially since it's built off a proper chassis, and everything is attached to the chassis. Like, your suspension, on the chest, other than here, which is easy to do. But either way, like sway bar goes through the chassis. If it weren't for this here, I could probably remove these pipes. 
and the body would fall off. So it's done right. I like it. But lag-wise, I'm going to move on to the next one. Which I have to alt-tab to figure out, which is... Rock Crawler 2. This one. By Superfan. Orling front and back with a ton of travel and flex. Nothing special about it, so just enjoy. Alrighty. This is a mostly vanilla buggy. Similar axles to what I would use. Pretty much exactly the same, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> this looks exactly how I would build my buggies. I have so many that look just like this. Like... All the cabs on my vehicles look the same. Everything I make looks like that. So yeah. But... Oh, the engines are behind the seats. That would be good for weight. Weight distribution, having mid-engine in a crawler, that'd be amazing. I'm not sure how well it would do uphill, though. Okay, yeah, this handles really well. It seems like there's nothing limiting those axles at all. See how much flex it has, because that's the cool thing. Holy. Okay. Let's see if I can get it to go up without falling off the lip too quickly. Jeez. A triangulated four link. And yeah, that's the flex you can get out of. And just to think, you can get even more. But this is impressive. It looks like you angled your, uh... It even looks like you angled the links in such a way that they go around each other. <laughs> That's awesome. I can tell this seems simple, but I can tell that a lot of actual like thought went into this to get everything lined up proper where it should be so that it flexes and handles amazing like if this had sway bars it's a crawler so it doesn't need them <laughs> but if it had sway bars even like in real life you can make just put disconnecting sway bars on it even okay where is that engine thing but either way, if you could put some kind of disconnecting sway bar on it, on normal terrain, this would handle incredible. And then you disable a sway bar, and especially once the new wheels come out, this will probably just go anywhere. Like, this is amazing. I want to make this in survival so bad. I'd love to make some kind of cool, like, rock crawler or something in survival. I love this thing. Awesome chuggy. If anyone wants a chuggy that's fun to just explore in and go pretty much anywhere you want. Oh, excuse me. I highly recommend this one. Like, we get things on here that have tons of detail, like spark plug wires and everything. But there's just something about a simple chuggy. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to move on. And honestly, I'm now probably going to see if I can make some kind of chuggy for survival. Now that we're over here, I'm going to touch on this really cool. This is the fastest uh, V4. Do which actually looks more like a V8. Because there's... Actually, no, never mind. I'm just looking at it wrong. There's only... Or it's hard to see while it's moving around. And I can't... There we go. Run. Where is it? No, not the wheel. Um, yeah. This is why I just kind of ignored it at first. Because I can't get the darn thing. Like, I spawned it in. It flew away, and I just couldn't catch up. But, either way. 
This is the fastest B4 by Ben Bingo. And yeah, there's no description of it for now. But let's see how fast it goes. Holy! That probably threw it off a little bit, but yeah, I'd say that's really fast. I can't tell how fast it's going, but... Turn that off. Okay. Turn it back on. Wait for it to get going. It's nuts. I'm gonna jump on it, see what happens. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty fast. If I jump on this side. Kind of as it's going up. I wanna hit like right here. It should launch me. Yep. <laughs> I love stuff like this. But yeah, if you need a, a fast four cylinder, here you go. This is kind of cool. And that is really fast. I'm not sure how much torque it'll have because of said speed, but this is really cool. Oh, now it doesn't run away. Either way, that is really cool. I'd like to see it put into something, or like, attack or something on because we can't really tell much. But, either way. Now that we caught up to it and checked it out a little bit, just a simple piston engine, just made in a way that it can run really fast, and I haven't messed around with engines in this in a long time, so I can't really say much of it. I used to make engines with thrusters, not this thing. Um... Next is a detailed vanilla V8 by Dusty Red. Unfortunately, we are in a hole right now, so I can't really put it at the shop, but this looks really good. Got your pulleys. I wonder what that is. It looks like a battery in the bottle. The way you put the battery with the bolt, the battery, the way you put the middle part there with the bolt looks like a double A battery. Got your valve covers, or your valves here. Cylinder heads. Your exhaust. There's no valve covers there. And your air filter. This looks good. If you're looking for a decent little V8 to put in your vanilla creation, I highly recommend this. Because it gets the point across. Like you even have a little plenum, I think it's called. Intake, plenum. The intake's up here, plenum distributes it to the cylinders, I believe. Could be wrong. Don't really care right now. If I'm wrong, let me know. Yeah. This looks good. I'll have to glitch about it. Upper looking headers. Yeah, I don't really know much. Nah, words. I don't really know what to say about it, but I like it. I can make a little kind of gearbox on the back somehow. Yeah. This would fit nicely. Most creations. Recommend checking this out. What is that? Hmm, interesting. Okay. On to the next one, which I've actually been excited for this whole time because it matches something that I'm into in real life. Hence, little Jeep, tiny Jeep, Corvette. I have three RC cars sitting in front of me right now. <laughs> and now there's a fourth. This is a team associated B6 made by Raymond 8.4V. I know we already showed someone something made by them, but I'm not worrying about the whole one per person thing. Yet. So let's check this out. A team associated 6B or B6, whatever this was, B6 is an RC car. I'll have to go back and, and when I'm editing and get some references and stuff for everyone, but if I remember correctly, maybe I should check the description. No description, see? And I don't look at the description before downloading either. Um, so yeah, it's a, I believe, one-tenth scale RC buggy. 
and this looks really, really close. Excuse me. Um, the normal one, I believe, is rear-wheel drive with the motor here or here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. I've never actually seen one. And then you have your normal steering, which looks like it's actually going to work. This is nice. I really like this. And then you have independent rear as well, and it looks like you put drive shafts on. Or proper axles. So this is really nice. I really, really like this. Short springs on the front, long on the back. Like, everything about this just screams Team Associated, from what I can remember. I'm more of a scaler, crawler kind of person, but this is so cool. So there you've got your steering. One thing I would suggest, I'm not exactly sure how the real one is. It is probably this way, because you would probably have a servo, and then a linkage, and then that. But in the game, I would put this on this side. Just the steering radius in this game is bad enough as it is. We don't need to make it worse. That's all. So I would just make it so that the steering is a little bit sharper. Actually, hold on a second. Usually vehicles in this handle worse at speed. But this is handling amazing, especially having axles. Like my buggy with axles doesn't work nearly this well, given it uses pipes and plates for U-joints. But yeah, this is awesome. I really like this. Before anyone complains about the weird wheels on the back, um, the mod comes with prefabs because it's glitch welded and you can't really put a lot of it together in game. So this is one of the prefabs. You can use the big wheel or the little wheel it's already put on. Or else I'm sure they would have used these on the back. But either way, this is so cool. I love this thing. I would drive it a little bit more, but I'm stressed today, so I'm just trying to appreciate the vehicles and look at them. Because that's what I like to do the most. Driving stresses me. And this thing is awesome. If you were to use the uh, remote control mod... Actually, maybe I'll do that. That could give me something to play around with for a little bit. Um, if you were to use the remote control mod, you could have a lot of fun with this. For example, if you were to make, say, let's say the drift track. For those of you that know, or those of you that don't know, whatever, that corner over there, there's a drift track. If you were to make it more suited to this, and like, or even the Baja track, <clears throat> go to the Baja track, make a tower in the middle, and then a bunch of seats with transmitters. And then do these in different colored on the track, you could have little RC cars. And there's mods in the game for that. But you could have like a proper stand where everyone is. You can have your, your stand where everyone stands to do the racing. And then you could have your little RC car pit. And then you could have your like track and stuff. I would love to see an RC version of that. But for now, as I clean all this up, we have to move on. Do hopefully I remember to get like a couple pictures or something of this. Next, and I think it might be the last one. Excuse me. But next is Vanilla 83 Toyota Helix by Desmashi. And they made it with Dusty Red. I said that kind of weird, but oh well. It's vanilla, lots of detail, and one lazy to smash you not want to write a description. That's perfectly fine. So, interesting. Okay, it's a uh, panhard. So it's a simple 
suspension, but enough to get the point across because you don't really need these links. It just adds lag. You're going to see this more. And then looks like the same on the front. Interesting choice up. Using a T there? That's interesting. Good bind, but it wouldn't be too bad. Um, Looks like you used proper carpet for the interior and everything. That's really cool. Engines are in the back, probably for weight. And there's that one there, so there's not really space. Um, Full exhaust. Full chassis. Looks like there's a bit of a drive line. The hood switch. The hood doesn't open. It's okay, though. You can see a little bit in there. I wonder what kind of engine it is. Probably like a little one four cylinder. Do lots of bed space. Back. License plate's so bright you can't read it. It's exhaust, a little bumper down there. I like the detail you added with the wedges here, that looks good. In the bed. Then let's check out in the cab. If you open the door, door doesn't open. I guess lag. There we go. There's the interior. Simple interior, all vanilla, which welded to fit, but it looks good. Yep, that's what I thought. I love Toyota Helixes. The 85, especially, is virtually indestructible like if you don't believe me or want an example go watch top gear they literally put one on top of an apartment building and then blew up the building and then they reattached the battery cable and they drove away like how these things are insane and they look good they perform incredible and this one is living up to that from what I've seen of them this mimics it pretty well looks really good it handles really well I should have put the tailgate back up but whatever but yeah I really like this truck this is awesome I thought I was going to roll there, but we didn't. We just kind of did a jump trip. It's kind of cool. I like this truck. Reminds me of my little truck. It's vanilla. My little truck. Oh, when did I break that? Oh, with that one cutter a few weeks ago. Anyways, um, yeah, I really like this truck. This is a, the perfect kind of uh, creation. I forgot about the track bars. This works really well, even with those. But as I was saying, um, if you're looking for something to just put around in, get around that looks good, handles really well, it'll get all your stuff around. Like, you could easily do. Oops. Yes, I need a churst. It's a mix between a chest and a hearse. It's when you need to go get buried. But you want to make sure you don't get out. I don't know. My game's lagging now. So yeah, we'll grab the uh, the chest. I'll just stick it there for now. And there we go. We've even got cargo. Awesome little truck. And you can make this in vanilla. Other than some glitch welding. You can totally do this in vanilla. And even if you were to skip the glitch welding, you wouldn't have the little detail like this. Because I believe that's a light and a... Yeah, those are lights and wedges. So little details like this would be as good. But I would love to make this in vanilla. This would be, like, in survival. That would be incredible. It'd be the perfect little... Just getting around truck so yeah if you're looking for something like that you need this oops but either way um i think that's everything for this week 
I know I didn't really show off driving much. I spent more time actually looking at stuff. That's what I used to do. I got into driving the creations too much. I used to actually focus on looking at them. So I'm going to try and do that more. Um, I will get around to working on the auto park more. As I said, I'm just stressed and I'm prioritizing survival in other videos. Um, either way, if you are interested in submitting a creation, you can submit anything you want. Everything that's downloaded. Most of the things that are downloaded here are from community builds. There's a few things that aren't, but like, even this house, it's over in the middle. But we even got a house by Stealthy Green Ivy, based on it not showing and all that. But yeah, either way. If you want to send in something, build whatever you want. Just keep it family friendly. Um, upload it to the workshop. So, little share button. If it requires mods, please list them on the right side under required items or whichever one it is. So that I can make sure I can load it. And then in that same area, make sure visibility is set to at least people with the link. Take your link, and then in the description of the video will be a link to my Discord group. And on there will be a scrap mechanic section. And in there <laughs> will be uh, community builds. And then just paste your link in there, and we'll go from there. But please try to keep that section only for community builds. So like, say you post your build in community builds, and then I'd prefer, like if you want to say something specific about it, put it there. But then if people are talking about community builds, I'd prefer that to be kept in normal text or whatever, just to keep it more organized and stuff. But either way, yeah, awesome week this week. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I suck at outros, so I hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.